Before creation comes destruction. Get it? This is Beerus's infamous catchphrase, the God of Destruction mantra. We've been hearing this since the original Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, since we first laid eyes on Beerus and met him as a character. This has been his go-to line. It's even the finisher in a lot of the DBZ games. It's exactly what he says when he destroys somebody. But little did we know how important this line actually is and why this line makes Beerus the creator, the beginning of everything Dragon Ball. He literally started it all, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys why, giving you guys all the evidence that I've collected from the DBS manga and the anime. But before I begin, let me know if you guys have any clue as to what I'm talking about. If you do, before you finish this video, let me know. Maybe you guys got it right, maybe not, but you'll find out by the end of this video. At the very start of the Dragon Ball Super manga, Beerus says this, I just remembered a dream I had about him. Whis asks, so you remembered someone that appeared in this prophetic dream of yours? That's right, an ultimate warrior that was able to entertain even me. His name is Super Saiyan God. This is the original, the beginning of DBS, the beginning of Dragon Ball Super. Beerus's prophetic dream about a Super Saiyan God. But this isn't the first time that he's had this dream. He's talking about him remembering the dream. He remembered the dream up to this point. In Battle of Gods, it was the exact same thing. In the DBS anime, it was the exact same thing. But in those two series, we get more of him waking up and then remembering the dream, almost like he had just had it. In the DBS manga, he has just destroyed an entire planet for not cooking food that he liked, and then he said he remembered the dream, meaning that this was a dream he had far back, at least prior to these events. We all know this story, yada yada, he finds Goku, yada yada, bad animation, yada yada, he defeats Goku and goes to planet Earth to try to find the Super Saiyan God. This is all stuff that we know. But this isn't everything because there is one huge, immensely huge detail that we find out in the Resurrection of F movie. Then we also find it out in the DBS manga, this huge detail that really is something that is kind of brushed over, especially in the manga. But it has huge ramifications to the story of Dragon Ball. Once Whis tells Beerus that Goku defeated Frieza, he says, Did you say he defeated Frieza? Yes, Frieza was defeated by a Saiyan known as Son Goku. That Saiyan is presently on the North Kaio planet. The Saiyan that defeated Frieza. Very peculiar indeed. Well then, what are we waiting for? To the northern Kaios planet. This is this is Beerus' face right here. You see this face? This is Beerus' face learning that a Saiyan actually defeated Frieza. Beerus knows how strong Frieza is. He knows how powerful Frieza is. So this is a shock to even him. Like, this guy defeated Frieza. And he's actually like, this is the first shock and awe that we see from Beerus. It's the first time that we see him worried. It makes sense why this really wasn't in the in the movies like that because having Beerus be this surprised this early on in shock and in fear wouldn't have set a good tone for how powerful he actually is. So why is Beerus surprised that Goku defeated Frieza? He is surprised because he actually sent Frieza to destroy the planet. That is planet Vegeta. Now, in my evaluation of everything that regards to Beerus and how he does his job. Beerus literally will destroy anything if he gets upset. He will destroy planets if they serve him bad food. There's even this scene right here in the manga where Beerus says that he asked this dinosaur guy with a nasty attitude to destroy planet Earth once we told him that that's where Goku is. And we doubles down and says that Beerus ordered that. Now, this is interesting because this is the this would be the second time Beerus is ordering somebody to do something. Now, in the anime, Beerus says that he actually destroyed the dinosaurs because, you know, he he didn't like their attitude. 
Well, we know that's not true because we see dinosaurs on planet Earth all the time. So that was a little bit of a mix up. This right here, this dinosaur guy that had a bad attitude to destroy planet Earth. I was thinking it could mean Demon King Piccolo or Piccolo or something along those lines. Either way, that's not really important because I feel like this is a mistranslation. What is important is that Beerus actually orders people to destroy planets for him. And I believe that this is because he is lazy. But I also believe that in certain cases, like Planet Vegeta, is because he has an ulterior motive. So let's go over the three times that Beerus actually said that he destroyed Planet Vegeta, or he ordered the destruction of Planet Vegeta. In Dragon Ball Super Episode 3, Beerus says, Hmm, but didn't Frieza destroy Planet Vegeta where the Saiyans were? And Whis says, Yes, it was you who asked him to do that while you were sleeping, wasn't it? Beerus says, well, they pissed me off, particularly the King Vegeta guy. So this is referencing to the anime episode where we see that, that Beerus met King Vegeta and that Vegeta actually knows who Beerus is. So he's saying in this instance that he, while he was sleeping, he just told Frieza to destroy planet Vegeta. So that's him giving an order. In Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, it's a little bit different. Beerus says, oh yeah. I could have given the folks on that planet an eternity, but they'd still be nothing but trouble. And that King Vegeta was especially hard-fisted. I would have been happy to destroy them too, but their world is so far away, you know. It was too much trouble. I have to admit though, Frieza is a bad apple too. He's so self-important. The next time I see him, I think I might destroy him too. Which we know doesn't happen, but this is what he says in Battle of Gods. In both these instances, the reoccurring theme here is twofold. It is one, that he disliked King Vegeta, and that the Saiyans were trouble, King Vegeta was trouble. And number two, he sent Frieza to destroy the planet. So in both these instances, he's lazy, and he's giving the job over to Frieza, even though Frieza's bad. He thinks that the Saiyans are much more of a problem, much worse. And so, you know, at that point, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just have them destroyed. But what if I told you there was a third reason? Now, how did Beerus in the manga confess to destroying Planet Vegeta, essentially? How many planets have you Saiyans destroyed? Hard to say. Fighting was the only way of life for my people, so we had a way of racking up sin after sin. Sin, huh? However, it wasn't until Frieza's clan came along and began using us that the destruction and invasions became business as usual. You trying to lay all the blame for your wicked ways on Frieza and his people? Not in the least. Here's a fun fact. The one who suggested that Frieza eliminate the Saiyans was me. Uh, what? Still think it was destiny? You're just gonna accept that? Go on, try me. So I know that my Beerus and Vegeta sound like very similar, if not identical. Uh, my bad, I'm not a voice actor yet. Trying to practicing toward it, you know, trying to get better. But in this scene, Beerus tells this to Vegeta to push him so Vegeta can unleash everything he's got in this training montage so that way Beerus can fight him one-on-one -on -one. and he can actually have a good fight which the fight itself is all right it's pretty decent but in this instance in the manga he says he was the one that suggested it to Frieza to eliminate the Saiyans he was the one that hinted at it and so if you take the manga as gospel here different from the other sources where it says that he he made Frieza do it he commanded it he just suggested it to Frieza. Now it is true that Frieza is scared of Beerus, that is, that is a fact, but I find it hard to believe that Frieza could be ordered like that by Beerus without, you know, him showing that's the case, you know, because in the in DBZ, he basically says that the Super Saiyan myth is the reason that he destroyed the Saiyans. That was the sole reason. And I know that DBZ ha it came out a long time ago before DBS, but they haven't changed that. So what happened? The Super Saiyan God dream. In Dragon Ball Minus, we get this panel. Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan God, Master Frieza. I'm sure they're just the usual heroic legends we hear about all the time. This is redone. This is Minus. This is Akira Toriyama redoing the beginning of Dragon Ball, or at least the origin of Goku and Vegeta. And he does this. He adds Super Saiyan God in there. Now, at the time I read it, I was like, oh, that's cool. They added it in there. You know, it makes more sense. Who told Frieza this? 
Beerus. Beerus suggested to Frieza, hey, the Saiyans that you have under your control, they can turn into Super Saiyan and possibly Super Saiyan gods. I mean, you know, they might be a problem in the future for you, you know. And he just hinted it. He suggested it to Frieza, putting that myth into his head. So why did Beerus do this? Because Beerus is looking for a fight and exactly what he said in Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods is this. I could have given the folks on that planet an eternity, but they'd still be nothing but trouble. Trouble for what? The universe? Because that's originally what I thought. Beerus is destroying these guys because they're trouble for the universe. But Beerus isn't like that. Beerus is not like some righteous guy that's going around like saving kittens out of trees. Beerus is petty. He's a petty god. He destroys everything. He doesn't. He, he doesn't. He doesn't like. He destroys people that make him upset. He destroys things that you know that just get on his nerves. Like he's not a righteous guy. So he said this because the Saiyans themselves were just too backwater. He had heard or knew about the Saiyan Super Saiyan legend, but realizing that the Saiyans would never achieve it. At least he maybe he waited and they never did. So he decided to suggest it to Frieza instead of him doing himself because he is lazy. He suggested to Frieza, hey, you know, might as well just get rid of them and destroy them. And he did this with the hope that there would be survivors. And again, even if he didn't just have hope, throwing some headcanon in this, he had the oracle fish to tell him the future. He's had dreams of premonition. He could have maybe had an idea that the future survivors of the planet's destruction would eventually push themselves beyond limits to eventually get to opponents that he could eventually fight. And that's what chapter 102 really showcased to me. I told you guys that Beerus is acting irritated, kind of upset, way more upset than usual by Goku bringing Beast Gohan on the planet. That's because he's finally realizing that the chickens have come home to roost. He destroyed planet Vegeta by suggesting it to Frieza with the Super Saiyan God legend in hopes that by destroying the planet, the Saiyans that are left would push themselves beyond their limits and become Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan God. When he finally wakes up, that's exactly what happened. That's why he's so shocked that Goku defeated Frieza because a Super Saiyan finally was awakened. And with that Super Saiyan, that means the Super Saiyan God should be coming next. That's why he went for a Goku and defeated Goku. He went back to Earth, defeated Vegeta, and then Goku eventually turned to Super Saiyan God, leading the groundwork for the entirety of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, because without Beerus suggesting this to Frieza, Frieza would have never destroyed the planet to begin with, and the Saiyans and Goku and Vegeta would still be working under Frieza and his thumb and they would have never branched out and become Super Saiyans or Super Saiyan Gods or Blues or Ultra Instinct, Ultra Ego or Beast on their own, finding fusion, all these different things. The events of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super would not have happened if it weren't for Beerus. Just remember Beerus' favorite catchphrase. Before creation comes destruction. Get it? That is what I wanted to tell you guys. Let me know what you guys think of this because it blew my mind when I first saw it. Subscribe for more content.